Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you about something that happened yesterday. Um, so, I've been having really bad anxiety the last four days or so. I've been under a lot of stress. Um, just It's just everything in general. Life things that stress me out. Um, and he said that he was a little bit worried about me. Um, he was watching me. My breathing was getting heavier and heavier. Um, <clears throat> my voice, you know, was pretty low, so he couldn't really hear me that well. Um, and I kept saying that I just wanted everything to disappear. Um, he said, what do you mean? I said, I just want everything to disappear. I said, the money, uh, uh, the, the building, the bills, everything. I want it to disappear. And he said, well, do you feel like you want to hurt yourself? I said, no. He said, you know, I wouldn't ask unless it was absolutely necessary, right? I said, yeah, no, you're right. He said, um, you know, you've been cooped up for a couple of days, you know, because of anxiety. He said, maybe it would be best if we went for a walk. You know, get some fresh air, it'll be a good reset, and we'll come back and chill. I said, well, that's too much work. He said, it may seem like it, but he said, it's 15 minutes. You can do it. I said, okay. So we went for a walk, and then we came back, and we talked. And he said, so do you feel better? I said, a little bit. I said, but, you know, I was talking to him about what was going on in my head. And I just wanted everything to disappear. The building, the bills, you know, just the debt, you know, that we have. And, you know, I was telling him, like, I, I think I'm probably just going to put everything on hold. YouTube music you know potentially going on the voice and he said why and he said well i don't think i'm good enough he said do you realize that every single person that you've talked to tells you you have talent for youtube he said do you realize that every single person that hears you sing says you have a good voice and i said well yeah but I don't think I'm cut out for actually getting somewhere with it. And he said, you don't know that. He said, you did really well on TikTok. He said, you know, I know it's a totally, completely different platform. He said, but you have the talent for it. He said, you know, you're really good at editing uh, and you're only going to get better. Um, and he said you're extremely comfortable in front of the camera he said you're also very comfortable uh, singing in front of a lot of people and you're also comfortable talking in front of a lot of people i said yeah i know you're right he said i know i'm right he said but don't you dare stop doing what you love he said just because you're stressed that's even more reason to do what you love because then you won't be focused on what's stressing you out you'll be more focused on doing what you love instead and i said yeah no you're right um but the point of this video is that i was that was the worst anxiety attack attack that i've had in probably two or three months um and it was scary for me because I, it was mixed emotions for me it was mixed emotions between pissed off um like sad almost just super heartbroken and mixed in with giving up and I felt like a failure for some reason and normally I'm pretty proud of myself but yesterday was just not one of those days where I was proud of myself yesterday I felt like a complete failure and it was the worst feeling ever because I have come a long way 
I have done amazing things. You know, I have, I am, I am an outreach for um, transgender people of all ages, uh, and I need to focus on the positive more than the, the negative. And I think I've been focusing so much on the negative and, and just pointing at myself at things that I don't like that I haven't been focused enough on the things that I do like about myself and therefore I'm tearing myself down even more um and I, I, I want to share this mainly because I want you to know that it's okay to tell someone you're not okay whether it's a family member whether it's a friend your, uh, your partner, whatever, wh whoever they are, I just want you to know that it's okay to let them know that you're not okay. Because if they don't know that you're not okay, they're not going to be able to help you. And I know how hard it is when you don't have anyone around to really help you. And so, you know, it's always important to reach out to those people when you're not doing okay. Um, because, who knows, they may be able to put a smile on your face. And it's the best thing, feeling in the world when somebody's able to put that smile on your face. You know, one of my good friends... Um, she always puts a smile on my face. She could say the stupidest thing in the world and or the most ridiculous thing in the world and it would make me bust up laughing because she's funny. She's really funny. Um, and don't get that mixed up with like she's funny looking. No, she's beautiful. But she her she has a good sense of humor, is what I'm saying. Um, and my fiance, he always knows how to make me laugh. Um, and, you know, my puppy, he's amazing. Um, and I have to remind myself, too, that I need to be more thankful for what I do have and not be so greedy and not be so um, jealous of what other people have. You know, I do have a roof over my head. It's not a fantastic roof. It's not healthy, but it's a roof. You know, uh, I could be living under a bridge. Um, you know, uh, I have food. I have water. I have a bed. I have blankets. I have a puppy. I have a car. I have a phone, a TV, an Xbox the switch you know I have all these things and sometimes I see what other people have and I'm like oh I want that I want that so bad and you know I try to do whatever I can to get it but at the same time I lose track of what's important and then that's when the depression kicks in because I want what other people have but I'm not going to be able to get what other people have if I don't work my ass off for it. Um, but I know I'm rambling on and on and on. But it was really important for me to share this to you. Because I was literally just wanting to break down and just cry my eyes out. Um, I didn't, thankfully, but I just want my anxiety to be, get better. Um, I have a doctor's appointment next week. Uh, I'm going to be getting a full-on physical done, so I will be getting my heart checked out as well. I'm going to get a brain scan done, or at least get, get one scheduled so I can get a brain scan done. Um, and I'm going to get my knee checked out. I'm just going to get it all done in one day. Um, so, yeah. But 
I really, really, really hope that you guys have a great day. Um, for those who watched this video, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you could share it around, uh, mental health is very important. And we need to make sure that we take care of our mental health. Whether it's taking uh, a couple of days off and just making sure that we're okay. Or we go see family, or we go see friends, or we even just go to the park by ourselves just to refresh, you know. I know it's not always the best of weather, I don't know where you guys are, but you know where I am, it's always raining right now, so obviously my go-to place is home. Um, but if it's nice in your area, go to a park, get some fresh air. Um, I'm going to try to get some rest. After I edit this video, I'm going to get some rest and hopefully have a good day today. So, um, yeah, but please take care of your mental health. I cannot um, stress that enough. Um, if, I have an, if I have an anxiety attack, I might record it so you guys can see kind of like what mine looked like because everybody else is everybody's um panic attacks or anxiety attacks are different so um yeah but i love you guys thank you for watching keep smiling keep your head up you're beautiful and i'll see you guys later bye